lesson for you today and today I'm going to show you John Mayer's version of Crossroads which is on his Battle Studies album and uh, it's a pretty stripped down version of the song you know it's, I think it's only two minutes 30, 30 long or something like that and uh, yeah it's got a cool little solo in it and it's got some great licks in the solo so yeah we'll get straight to it so this guitar is going to be in standard tuning and um, how I've generally got it set up here I've got the front pickup selected I've got the tone turned straight right down on the uh, guitar and I've got a, a Maxon Overdrive going into a, a fuzz pedal, which in this case is going to be a Voodoo Octave by Joyo. And then it's straight into um, a clean sounding uh, Blues Junior amp. And we're going to, I'm going to use my fingers for the riff part of this. So I'm going to use the thumb for the um, kind of the A, E and the A string. And uh, my, my two um, index and middle fingers for the D and the G string. And we're going to start off with this little riff. So what we're doing there is we're going to kind of slide down on the low E from kind of the 12th, 13th, 14th area. So kind of kind of release the pressure as you're going down to get that. And then we're going to go. So that's going to be open A, and then we're going to play second on the D and G, and then open D and G, and then second again. So it's that that goes like this. Then the next part we're going to do this. So we're kind of playing open um, D and G, and we're going to kind of slap on to those second D and G. So and then we're going to get an open A. So 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 far I've got this. Slowly once more. So once we play that, we're going to go. So that's all that's going to be is going to be open the D string. Then we're going to go bend down slightly on the third of the A, and then open A. So that little part goes. Then up to speed. So once we play that part in A, we're going to play a very similar part in D. So we're going to slide up to the D, we're going to play this. So that's going to slide up to the fifth, the A, and then we're going to go. So that's going to be seventh of the D and G, to fifth of the D and G, back to seventh. So, then we're going to go. Oops. So what we're doing there is we're going to kind of get the D and the G at the, at the um, Fifth, gonna kind of get them, and then immediately hammer on to the seventh of the uh, D string. So, so, and then we're gonna go. So it's gonna be fifth of the A, then fifth of the D and the G, and then we're gonna slide from that seventh of the A down. It sounds a little bit strange that when you're playing it slowly, but when you play it up to speed, it sounds right. So that that, that very slowly goes like this. And then if he, when he plays it again, it kind of slides back up again. So up to speed, that's... Back into the A. Then it goes into a couple of chords. You're going to play a, an F sharp minor 7, which, if you don't know, you basically bar the 2nd fret there, and then put that finger on the 4th of the uh, A string. And then he does this. Well, that's what I think he's, he's doing anyway. That's what I play. So what we're doing is we're playing the E A D string, and then the E A D G string. So that's. Then we're going to play this kind of D seven shape, and it goes like this. 
which again is what I, th I think's going on. So um, you're going to kind of play um, fifth of the A, fourth of the D, fifth of the G. So, so play those three like that, and then go down again. So basically do that twice, and then, uh, then after the second time you go, basically release that so you get in an open G string, and end up on that fourth of the uh, D, so that little part goes. Then back into the, back into the riff. And that's pretty much the, the riffs you know, he plays that through, I think, uh, twice before he's into a solo. So the next part's going to be the solo, and I think John Mayer's using his fingers for the solo, but um, I'm, I'm not so fast at doing it that way, so I'm going to use a pig, which is cheating a little bit, but, you know, it's, it's all right for showing people. So we're going to start off with this little leg. Which is a great little lick, and uh, so we're going to start off with this, this part first. So what we're doing there is we're playing fifth of the B, the seventh of the G, back to the fifth of the B, give it some vibrato, so. And then the next little part's gonna go. So we're gonna go uh, seven, five on the G, back to seven again. And then we're gonna go hammer on from the fifth to seventh of the D, so. And then we're gonna go uh, fifth of the G. So that little lick goes. Kind of bend that down if you want, so. so that's the first part of that first lick. The next part goes like this. So how we're doing that is we're gonna so we're gonna start that off the same way. We're gonna go five of the B, seventh of the G, back to fifth of the uh, B again. So then we're gonna go. So that's gonna go eight of the B to fifth of the B. So and then we're gonna go. So what we're doing there is we're going fifth of the B, seventh of the G, back to the fifth of the B, and then seventh to the fifth of the G, and then we're going to go two on the D, seventh of the D, and then end up on the uh, fifth of the so fifth of the uh, G. So that little part goes. So. So that little lick goes. So that little lick goes like this. The next little lick after that goes like this, which is very kind of Clapton and Hendrix at the same time. And yeah, no, like I say, all these licks you can steal and put in your own guitar playing. So uh, anyway, this this one goes like this. So we're going to start off with this. So what we're going to we're basically just going down the uh, A minor pentatonic lick, um, scale. So we're going to go five of the D, sorry seven for the D, two on there. So then we're gonna go five to seven on the G, five of the B to uh, the eighth of the uh, B. So the next part we're gonna go. So what we're doing there is we're going seventh for the seventh for the B. Then we're gonna go. This is very Hendrixy, by the way. So Hendrix um, through and through lick this. So he's basically playing a uh, fifth of the B. Going from the seventh to the pulling off from the seventh to the fifth of the G, and then ending up on that uh, seventh of the D. So that little part goes like. Oh, by the way, I failed to mention that you play that twice. That that. So that little part goes. So the next little it goes like this. So what we're doing there is we're kind of play, we're going to bend up. Bend up the uh, seventh of the B, and bend it down. End up on the fifth. Go to the fifth of the uh, uh, E note. Then we're going to go. So it's going to be eight, seven, five on the B. So. So then we're going to do this. So that's going to start off on the seventh of the uh, D string. We're going to go from fifth to seventh on the G. Fifth of the uh, B. So. Back to the fifth of the uh, G string, so end up on the uh, seventh of the D. So so far I've got this. So 
then we're going to go like this. So once we're, once we're on that, once we're on that uh, seventh of the uh, D string, we go. So that's going to, basically going to go seven, five, three on the A. So slowly that goes like this. Then the next, the next little lick is going to go like this. So it's going to be a, a hammer on from the third to the fifth of the A, and then we're going to hit that fifth of the A again, slide up to the seventh. So go to the fifth of the D, and then kind of bend down a little bit on the seventh of the D, and then end up on that uh, fifth of the G, and the same thing, kind of do a quarter bend. So. And the next little lick is going to go like this, this is a cool little lick. So what we're doing there is we're going to kind of, very bluesy little lick, Every, everybody uses this one. So how we're doing this, we're going to basically be on the 8th of the uh, high E string, and on the 7th of the B, and when we play that, that 7th is bent up ever so slightly, but try and keep the, the, no, the E string in the same position, so, so just very quick. And then we're going to go... So that's going to be 10 for the high E, 2 on the 8th of the high E, so that's going to go 10th of the B, 9th of the G, so then we're going to go, then we're going to go, so that's going to be basically 8th to the 10th of the B, and then we're going to slide very quickly from the 9th uh, to the 7th of the G. Then we'll go. So that's going to be 5th of the G string to the 7th of the D, back to the 5th of the G, and then kind of bend down at 7th of the D, and then ever so slight bend down on that 5th uh, of the D. So that little bit goes. The next little lick goes like this. So what we're doing there is we're kind of basically going, running down the um, A minor pentatonic scale again. So we're going to go, we're starting on the fifth of the D. So when we hit that, we're going to kind of release the pressure on this. So, so then we're going to go to the seventh of the G, uh, sorry, D. Then do the same again on the G string. And then we're going to go 7 to 8 on the B, to 10 on the B, to 13 on the B. So, so far we've got this. Then we're going to do these little bends. So that's going to be on the 13th of the B, bend it up twice. And then on the 12th of the B, bend that. So. Next little lick goes like this. So what we're doing there is we're going to bend the 13th of the B to bend it up and then get a, bend it down, so bend it up and get it 13th of the B again and then bend the 12th of the B up, up and down, Ten, 2 on the 10th uh, of the B, so and then we're going to go, so that's going to be 12th of the G, 13th of the B, the 10th of the B, so that little part goes then this cool little lick goes like this. So how we're going to play that, this is a cool little lick, uh, we're going to bend that 17th of the um, B string, bend it up and then get it, get a fretted, fretted uh, 17th, so then we're going to do this cool little lick. So we're going to bend um, the 13th of the B, and then whilst it's bent up, get a 12th of the high E, and then bend the 13th again. So, then we're going to do this very quickly. So what we're doing there is we're going to slide from the 13th to the 15th of the B, get the 12th of the high E, back to the 13th of the uh, B again. So, then we're going to go, so all that is is going to go uh, 14, 12, 14 on the uh, G, and then we're going to end up on that 13th of the B. So that little part goes like this. Then the next little lick goes like this. 
So what we're doing there is we're going to bend the, the 17th of the B, we're going to bend it up a full tone, then bend it up a half tone, and then a quarter tone. So, I love that, sounds great, I love that. And then we're going to go pull off from the 15th to the 13th of the B, get 14th of the G, and then we're going to do this little BB King thing where he hits the, uh, the 15th of the high E, which is going to be an A, an A. And then, and uh, kind of, I lay my finger across all the other strings so you get that kind of uh, scratching sound. So, and then slide it down. So, great lick. Every BB King fan should know that lick, that little. So, the next little lick after that goes like this. So, what we're doing there is we're bending the uh, 17th again on the B, and then ending up on the 13th of the B, and then we're going to. 14, 12, 14 on the G, so. So that part of the solo has all been in A minor. Now it's gonna to change to A major. So we're gonna do this. So what we're doing there is we're going nine to 11 on the G, and then we're gonna bend. Then we're gonna bend that um, 12th of the B, end up on the uh, 10th of the B, so. Then we're going to do this. So we're going to slide, once we've done that, we're going to slide down to the fourth of the G string, very quickly. Get a second of the uh, of that uh, G string, so. Then we're going to go. So we're going to bend on the fifth of the uh, G string, bend it up, bend it up a kind of half tone, then a quarter tone, and then end up on the second. Second of the uh, G string, so that little part goes like this. Then we're going to do this. So that's going to be very, again, very Clapton-y, very kind of cream-sounding Clapton. We're going to slide from the seventh to the fifth, and then go to the third, and then back to the fifth of the A. Then we're going to do a bit of the kind of lick. Going to go end up on this. So once we've done that, I mean, like I say, John May is using his fingers, so it sounds right to the song. But I'm using the pick for this. So you basically play one of the uh, the lick again, and then end up on this. Second of the of the G. So I up, slide up to the ninth of the G, and then get a tenth of the B. So then we're back into the. Back into the riff, and that's basically the song. Um, it's you know, like I say, it's very stripped down, so it sounds basic. But um, the technique that John May is using for the for the riff is um, very difficult, and it sounds really cool to be honest. But uh, there is actually a lesson of him showing you how to do that. Uh, I think it was like a Guitar World magazine uh, um, special or something, and uh, he's doing all this. You know, he, you know, he kind of slaps it, and I I can't play like that, so. Um, so yeah, check that version out as well. That's that is you know probably better than this to be honest. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.